doing week 12 in the NFL here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with returning guest Doug Upstone from sports-watch.com, who altered his attire a bit last week, upgraded it, looks a little more spiffy, a little more put together, a little more like a winner, and maybe it's a coincidence, maybe it's not, but last week he did have a very impressively winning week. Uh, of course, he picked the Chargers, getting uh, more than a touchdown they covered, losing by only seven. Doug, thanks for being back with us this week. Peter, I'm always glad to be right here with you at, at SBR Forum Videos. Right. Tell us a little bit about sports-watch.com before we talk about our NFL game this week. Sure. You know, the, the uh, NFL, for whatever reason, has been much easier for handicappers. And at last look, I believe we have 40% uh, of our roster uh, have, having plus units in, in NFL uh, selections, which I think is just flat out amazing that that many guys are doing that well. And so if people want to get a, you know, with still, what do we got, six weeks left mm -hmm. of the regular season, plus the playoffs and everything there is still to go, if you're looking to find a hot handicapper, go to sports-watch.com. Check out these guys' records. You can click directly to their website to see what their special offers is, even for like this upcoming holiday holiday weekend. Hey, I suggest you do it. Check it out. See if it works for you. Wow, you are a fucking great pitch man, man. You just, I just love listening to you talk. I could listen to you pitch anything. All right, let's talk about Minnesota at Chicago. That's the game you suggested that you actually, you, you requested a few others that uh, I couldn't give you because I already assigned them to other cappers. Minnesota, Chicago, of course, has no lines out yet. It's not clear what's up with Jay Cutler or the injuries at quarterback, but you know, the Bears looked awful on Monday night. They can't run the football there, you know, on a short week here. Minnesota is off a bye. So just based on that, and, you know, Chicago's in disarray, obviously, at quarterback in general, no matter what the situation is going to be. So based on those situations, you got to think that Minnesota, no matter what the line is, is going to be a good bet here. But, you know, you can't make a pick based on no line. What if Minnesota's an 18-point road favorite? Of course, you wouldn't think that they're a, that they're a, a great bet there. Uh, what do you like here? As, as you mentioned, there's no line in this game. But what I do know is that Minnesota begins the second portion of their schedule, 6-4, and four, far better than any preseason predictions. Mm -hmm. Despite a rugged schedule ahead, if Christian Ponder can improve the Vikings' 30th-ranked passing offense to go along with Adrian Peterson's beast mode campaign, <laughs> the Vikings could actually stick around and end the, uh, stick around the whole season and maybe even stick, uh, sneak into the playoffs. The passing game inadequacies are not all on Ponder, as the offensive line has been unstable in, uh, for blitz pickups, and any wide receiver not named Percy Harvin has had trouble getting open and finishing routes. Now, the Minnesota run defense has either been really good or really bad, which really has contributed to their record overall. The Vikings should come to this game refreshed off their bye week, but they're an unproductive 4-12 against the spread off a win like they had over the Lions the last time out. Now, as you mentioned, Peter, Chicago was hammered by San Francisco 32-7. They were outplayed, outsmarted, outcoached, and getting their butts hit. With two losses in a row, Chicago has been caught by Green Bay in the NFC North, with Minnesota lurking just one game behind. This is the time for Coach Lovey Smith and his team to look at themselves in the mirror and ask themselves what kind of squad they really want to be, with or without Jay Cutler. Does the offensive line have to block better? Yes. Does the offensive coordinator to need to run plays that are easier to execute? Yes. Does whoever plays quarterback for the Bears have to get rid of the ball to their receivers faster when they're actually open? Yes. Now, their defense was thoroughly embarrassed, and this proud unit, I think, comes ready to play this Sunday. Now, the last four years, Minnesota has, has go, gone to Chicago, and they have fallen behind early and failed to win or cover. Because the Bears, in my opinion, will be extremely angry from their previous performance and backed with the knowledge they know how to beat the Vikings, I say bet the monsters of the midway once we see a spread on this game as they punish Minnesota and move to 10-1 and against the spread in the Windy City against this division rival. Really? That shocks really? me. I'll, t I'll tell you this. I'll, let, let's predict what we think the lines are going to be here. If Jason Campbell is the quarterback, I think three or three and a half is very, you know, a, a, a fair spread. Now, if Cutler plays, I'm of the opinion Cutler's at least worth three points, you know, in, in this situation. So hmm. I'm going to say uh, Chicago probably a six and a half point favorite wow. in this game if really? Cutler plays. I'm thinking in either of those situations, I'm kind of thinking that, that, that Minnesota might be the good play here. 
Yeah. Well, you know what? Actually, there's certainly reasons yeah. for that to occur. But in, in this case, I think that the, the Bears, you know, we, we talked a lot, or certainly I have a lot about, you know, especially the NFL pride and pride and embarrassment in today's athlete. Boy, is, that's really a big thing. You know, how many interviews do you see? You know, uh, you know, well, our back's against the wall. You know, we were being disrespected. You know, all this, all this stuff. And that's what motivates today's NFL player. And uh, if the Bears aren't motivated, still in first place, off the performance that they just gave, which, by the way, they always play bad in San Francisco. In fact, I believe they're 0-8 straight up and against the spread in San Francisco since 1985, including last night's game. Hmm. So I think the Bears are going to come back. I think they're going to be ready to go. And I think they're going to lay the wood to the All Vikings right. this time around. Very, very interesting analysis. Doug Upstone from sports-watch.com. Very tough to analyze a game without a spread, but we will see where these lines come out and what the results are. Doug Upstone says, take the Bears no matter what. I'm going to go out on a limb and go on the opposite side. I'm going to say, take the Vikings no matter what. But thanks for the preview, Doug Upstone. We'll talk to you again next week.